Today, as we share in Set Free, I want to share with you from Luke chapter 7, 36 to 50, about the woman with no name. This woman in the story is just given a title, the sinful woman. And there's a very important reason for that. And so as we set up the story, Jesus comes into a house. Now, in England, when you come to someone's house, what is the first thing they do? They welcome you in. They take your coat and often offer you a brew. In the Jewish context, there would be other conventions, including washing a person's feet. And Jesus has gone to visit a Pharisee who also doesn't get a name because they don't really deserve a name. Because their actions are despicable and inhospitable. They don't see Jesus as someone to be worshipped. They see Jesus as someone to be debated. And while they're in that home, Jesus is sitting and this woman comes, this sinful woman. And she takes ointment or perfume and she anoints his feet. And she's weeping with remorse and gratitude that Jesus has saved her soul. And she wipes his feet with her own hair. What an incredible act of worship. She has gratitude from the bottom of her heart because she recognizes what a wretch she was. She acknowledges the sin in her own life and therefore she recognizes how desperately she needed a savior. And contrasting that is the Pharisee who can't even be bothered to be a good host. Jesus tells a story. And in verse 47 of Luke chapter 7, he says, Therefore I tell you, her sins, which were many, have been forgiven. Hence she has grown, shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven, little, uh, loves little. As Christians, we need to always remember how much Jesus has forgiven us. We need to acknowledge the sin in our life and acknowledge our need for a saviour and then find ways to express that in worship. Worship isn't singing. Worship is a lifestyle where we live in such a way that we show we are grateful for what the Lord has done by taking our sins away. I forgot to mention why this woman is not given a name. The reason she's not given a name is because she's probably part of the company of believers. And Jesus doesn't want her to be remembered for her past, but for her future. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in this moment, we acknowledge that without you, we are totally lost. And if we don't acknowledge that, Lord, convict us of our own sin. So we might know just how much we have to be grateful for. And so we might appropriately worship you. Lord, we thank you for the example of this wonderful woman who washes your feet with her own hair to show us what our attitude should be to worship. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In your precious name we pray. Amen.